Hi, I'm Amy Long with Red Carpet Report in Beverly Hills at a special screening and panel for Showtime's The Affair. Okay, definitely have watched the show. So it is here in the U.S., of course, and also Golden Globe winner. You're Congratulations, and we're also looking forward to that second season. Uh, tell me what it's like on set with this crazy affair that's happening, and it does watching your character derail. What like what is it like to watch my character derail? I don't think that with Whitney we've done anything that's too outside of the bounds of like reality you know I think that she's reacted in a natural way to a family that's deceived her for an entire summer and who's kind of ignored her and pushed her aside and so I think it was sad for me and a little bit heartbreaking to see that she was turning to all the wrong people for support and getting put in these bad situations um, but it's understandable uh, to cry for help that's what you know so I thought that watching her derail was understandable Watching uh, your dad on camera and this other person have an affair and seeing it from both perspectives, having to act it out from both perspectives, what do you think about relationships and having a monogamous relationship? Do you think it's possible these days or do you think this is just something that children are going to have to get used to their families going through? Oh, well, I don't know. I'm, I just turned 20 and I I've, haven't really had a real relationship yet so I'm not really sure if I can comment on like monogamy and what that means but I do like to think that you take it on a case-by-case -case basis and you can't be cynical about the whole thing as far as the affair I know that um, that if you look closely you can see that um, um, you can see that you can understand why he's having an affair, as heartbreaking as it is, because their marriage is crumbling, and that doesn't excuse it, but I think it's interesting to examine why these things happen. Do you see any right or wrong when it comes to this script, or does it make you more sympathetic towards the actual affair? For me, reading the script, and whenever I read Whitney, I'm like, she's right, I'm right. <laughs> um, but watching the show, I have to watch it once where I can kind of take it from Whitney's perspective and I just feel so mad at my dad because I'm watching it happen to him and I'm just feeling so angry that he's doing this to me but then if, when I watch the show a second time I'm like oh I'm so with Allison like Allison rules and so I feel like then there's some gender bonding it just depends how I watch it so when fans on the street run up to you do they do they come up with some outlandish this is what happened and this is what I know where is going what's the most common one or the craziest one the craziest one was we were at a um, like a mini panel for we were like promoting episode nine, and this woman in the front row and it was before we found out that my character was pregnant. She's going, "You're pregnant. You're pregnant. You're pre over and over again, like butchering me." And I just I didn't spoil anything, but um, but that she was right on. She was right on. Yeah. And how did she know? Who knows? So what are you looking forward to in the next season? Anything that you hope that they write in extra for you? Uh, I'm looking forward more than anything to just getting to work with this incredible cast. I mean, I'm so lucky. They're so cool. And, um, and also, I think that we're going to explore a more adult side to Whitney because all of these things have happened to her now. She's been kind of fundamentally shifted and forced to grow up. So I'm excited to see a slightly more mature side of her. Well, congratulations on a second season. We look forward to watching it, too. It was really nice to meet you. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me, whose side are you on?